So another Poundland Delight, and this time it's a little LED floodlight, and it didn't cost a pound, it cost five pounds. And it's one of these little irritating 10 watt LED lights, but or higher power, that come with the glass physically glued in. They've already had a go trying to gently prise it up at one corner, and all I've done is deform the metal. So that this is one of these new era of LED floodlights that they're not really what you'd call serviceable. They're just, you know, a disposable item, which is quite annoying. But I thought it'd be quite interesting just to sacrifice this one and uh, open it up and see how that's glued in and whether it's like that they could be prized out and then resealed because it as with all these other LED floodlight uh, cases if it could be opened and reclosed it would be a nice sort of project case for uh, either some electronic circuitry or a solar panel under glass and a sort of with maybe batteries tucked away underneath it as well so um, let's uh, explore that a little bit further and for those of you who wanted to see it lit, there it is lit before I take it to bits. So that actually took quite a lot of effort to get open. It turns out that the adhesive is a black silicone type substance. And it really is, it's pressed so tightly into contact that although there's a little channel at the edge that you could, that it squishes out into, the actual main contact layer is a flat surface and it bonds onto it very tightly. And in try I tried leaving it out at first and cracked the glass and then I broke the metal off the edge and then I just went around breaking all the metal off the edge of this. And the only way we could get it open then, after even sliding a knife round and trying to get it in, was Vince got a hammer and a, a screwdriver and smacked the side and then we managed to leave the glass off. But the glass did get cracked and chipped in the process. This is absolutely not designed for serviceability, which is a shame. It would have been nice if we were able to get that off in some way if it had been hot melt, although keep in mind this probably gets fairly warm in operation. And, you know, you'd been able to put your own electronics inside and redo it. The only way I can think of getting this out in a controlled manner is to smash the glass, which is not a controlled manner, and then perhaps pick it out and then glue in a new piece of glass. But then that defeats the point of the whole, because this only costs a fiver in the first place. It would have been a nice case otherwise, really. However, once open, uh, it reveals, and this is quite interesting, if we hinge this open and I zoom in a bit in this, for a start, uh, it is earth. That's very good, but I wouldn't expect anything other than that from Poundland because their electrical stuff is actually pretty good. Uh, the cable doesn't have any sort of ceiling here. You'd have to be very careful. I'm just going to zoom out a wee tad here. You'd have to be careful to make sure that wherever you terminated this, there was no chance of water getting you know, moisture getting in the end of this flex because water can migrate down the inside of a flex. And if that got in here, you'd end up with condensation in the glass and, you know, there'd be no way of getting it out. Uh, if we zoom back in in the circuitry again, it's very good. Uh, we've got the 15 LEDs in series, and I'm guessing these are multiple chip LEDs. But the main supply comes in, it goes through a fuse, it has a metal oxide varistor to protect against voltage transients, it's got the bridge rectifier to convert to DC, it's got a 1 mega ohm resistor across that, and it's got a capacitor. And uh, the capacitor is for smoothing, and that's really unusual in this style of light. Then it's got a current regulating component, which has no number on it, with a 18 ohm uh, sense resistor here, and then it drives the LEDs. And another interesting thing about this is this compound here is wet, uh, and that means that this isn't glued in place, it's not got holes and uh, it's not screwed firmly in place, because many of these panels, they sort of distort and buckle as they heat up and cool down, it causes damage. But what they've got in this case... They've got these plastic clamps here that clamp that down, and then the heatsink compound will provide a bit of lubrication at the back, which will actually let it slide backwards and forwards in there as there's thermal expansion contraction. And that actually means that, relatively speaking, this is actually a very good design. It's just a shame it's not serviceable or hackable for our own projects, but as what it is, a 10-watt light, it's actually very good.